Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to continue our series on the Binance Smart Chain. We're going to be talking about the Venus Protocol. I'm going to give you a bit of a tutorial on exactly what Venus is. Before we get into this, I want to say this very, very quickly. One of the things that I do like about Venus is it gives you the ability to earn passive income. If you know me, you know I love two things. I love decentralized cryptocurrency and I love earning passive income. So if you want to learn how to earn passive income, you want to learn more about decentralized cryptocurrency, do me a favor and smash that like button. Of course, hit the subscribe button and please click that bell notification icon. And if I haven't done enough to earn your subscribe, as I oftentimes say, please watch this video, watch one or two more videos, and hopefully I can do enough that I earn your subscribe. Now, if you really like to earn passive income, then you will know that I put a lot of content out on YouTube. But I also have uh, our group, our Crypto Passive Profits group. If you go down into the description, you click on the subscribe star link. You can come over here to our Crypto Passive Profits membership. You can click on that and you can join us over there. This group right now, it's a paid group. It's $29.99 per month, but it's not finished yet. I'm still working on it. I'm putting it on a permanent platform right now. I'm just using subscribe star. And as you, if you come over there, you'll see that it's only $9.99 per month. But just to give you an idea of what you're going to get once you get over here, just a quick heads up, you're going to be learning how I earn a passive income surfing the internet, how I have earned over $6,000. I've got an update on that using the CryptoTab web browser. You're going to learn how I'm able to use tokenized gaming platforms. I've got two videos coming out for my members only a little later in the month where I'm going to show you where I'm, I'm earning one and a half to 2% per day on a tokenized gaming website that is totally brand new right now. And the reason that that's going only to my members, I'm not even going to talk about that on YouTube is because as soon as I make it public and I let them know about it, literally, we're not going to have like, I'm not going to be able to earn one and a half and 2% anymore. Um, so I want to kind of protect that for that small group. The earnings will probably still be good. We'll probably be at about half percent to 1% per day, but I want to reserve that for my paid members. All right. That's over there on the crypto passive profits group. Let's go into what you got here for Venus protocol. What is it? How does it work? Let's just get into that. So Venus protocol is essentially a lending platform on the Binance smart chain. So how does lending work in DeFi? Now, if you're not familiar with this, this is incredible because I really think this is going to be the wave of the future. Like this is some version of this is what we're going to all be doing at some point in the future. I'm fully confident of that. Now, let me just say this. Nothing I say in this video needs to be construed as investment advice. I'm just an amateur YouTuber. I love to talk about this space. I love to learn about this space. I am always watching, paying attention and learning about DeFi. So understand that I'm just an amateur observer, much like you. Maybe I spend more time. Maybe I spend more hours. Maybe I put videos up on YouTube, but at the end of the day, I'm not a financial advisor. So please do your own research now that we got that nonsense out of the way. So Venus protocol in and of itself, essentially what you're able to do is you're able to take a cryptocurrency that you have, you're able to put it on the platform. You can earn passive income just by storing it on the platform, but you can also borrow against it. Now, why would you want to do that? Well, we'll talk about that in a minute, but let me show you exactly kind of how it works. So this is the website Venus Money Markets a decentralized marketplace for lenders and borrowers with borderless stablecoin. It's on the Binance Smart Chain. If you're not yet familiar, if you've not heard about the Binance Smart Chain, it's BNB, it's, but it's a separate chain of BNB. So if you want to get started on the Binance Smart Chain, I have an entire video that takes you from knowing absolutely nothing about cryptocurrency to actually being able to get started on the Binance Smart Chain. What's the process? How does that work? I'll link that above. But the thing about the Binance Smart Chain is, is you're able to earn passive income in all sorts of ways by paying very, very low fees. So for example, let's come here, let's launch the app. You have to be logged into your Binance Smart Chain on MetaMask, which I am. This is the dashboard. Now what you can do when you come over here is you literally can supply any of these tokens and you're going to earn APY. Now the APY that you're going to earn is going to be in their XVS token. I think that's the Venus token. They have a, a VI token and an XVS token, but you're going to earn that in their XVS token. Now you can earn it, you know, without XVS and you'll see that you're just, your APYs will go down, but it goes up much higher if you earn in the XVS. Now, let me just kind of show you how you would do this. We're actually going to do it. All you got to do is very simple. Once you're logged into, you got your Binance Smart Chain wallet pulled up, you're logged in. All you have to do, let's just say we come to BNB right here. This is, I got 3.9 BNB in my wallet right now. You just come here. You just come to supply. Let's just say we're going to put three in right now. And notice it gives me a borrow limit. 
So that borrow limit is like a portion of the BNB, probably about half of it, I guess, of the BNB that I have. So I'll supply that. I'll actually do this just to show you. There's a lot of people talk. Well, there's not a lot. There's a few videos on Venus Protocol, but they don't actually show you how to do it. If I'm going to talk about something, typically I'm going to try to show you how to do it. So the, the this is going to go through in a moment. And what you're going to notice is, there we go. Let's see if we can refresh the page. I've not done this on Venus. I've done it on other platforms, but I've not done it on Venus before. So we should be earning APY right now. There we go. So I've supplied 744. My net APY, I'm going to be earning about 5.86%. And that's just by supplying it. So it's in the world of crypto, it's relatively stable, meaning I'm not, you know, whatever, as long as whatever BNB price is, I'm not at risk at losing my BNB unless something was to happen to the website or to smart contracts. And that's the thing. All of this is done with smart contracts. There's no central authority. That's why it's decentralized lending. There's no central authority holding this. There's no central authority managing this. There's just a website. The website allows me to interact with the smart contracts. Now I can do this right here and I can just earn a little bit of, you know, 5.85%. I'm probably going to be earning it in the XVS token and I can withdraw this ever so often. If I want to borrow against this, let me explain why you might would do this. It helps decrease in, in some states or some countries, it helps decrease your taxable events. So you can, there's two reasons to do it. One is to decrease taxable events. So I can borrow against this right here and I'm not going to lose this BNB. So let's just say I wanted to borrow. I can collateralize it like this. Click confirm. We'll wait for that to go through, but I can borrow against this $743 uh, dollars here worth of BNB, and I'm not going to lose my BNB necessarily. Now, you can lose it. I'll talk about that in a moment. You, you definitely could lose it, um, but that as long as the market doesn't go to crap, then I still have that BNB here, and I can borrow. Some people will put BNB. They're very bullish on BNB. They'll get BNB. They'll put it for collateral, and then they'll borrow market and they'll borrow more BNB. Now, why would you do that? Well, the one reason to do it is because you want to capitalize on the rising price of BNB if you think it's going to go up. The problem is if it goes down, it's going to hurt doubly. You, if you're not careful, you're going to owe more. Basically, you're going to you can lose this stack really, really fast. So let me just show you how that would work if you wanted to do it. You could come here and you could borrow safe max. So then let me borrow 0.7 basically. That's what they're going to let me borrow. They're saying that's a safe max. And I could borrow that. Let me see if I got something else. If it would, uh, by the way, it's showing me my available credit limit. So it's saying that I can borrow up to $444. Ah, one of the reasons it won't let me borrow, this is good. So it's not going to let me borrow because I haven't added the XVS yet to my um, MetaMask wallet. That's okay. Let's come to something. I know we got USDC here there. So if I wanted to borrow USDC, I could borrow up to $177 worth of USDC or 177 USDC. So let's just say I was gonna borrow 100 just to show you what would happen. There's my borrow limit. I've used up 22% of that. Why is this important? They keep a cushion there because if the price starts to go down of USDC, which it's a stable coin, obviously, but if I was using another asset, if the price starts to go down, then I'm going to lose some value here. And I'm also going to lose um, some of my collateral, meaning I'm not going to, it's going to try to keep a, a cushion there. There's no guarantee that you won't have to basically lose your original principle, but they're trying to prevent you from doing that. So let's just say I borrow this. That's going to go through and I'll unwind this too in a minute and show you how to unwind it. Now, if I wanted this hundred, a uh, hundred dollars worth of USDC, I could go use this anywhere I wanted. I literally have a hundred dollars worth of USDC right now. And what's interesting about it is I'm going to be earning some XVS tokens and as soon as it goes through, it's going to tell me if I'm net, I'm probably going to be, there we go. So my bar bounce, I borrowed a hundred and look, I'm actually earning a slightly higher 5.91 APY. Isn't that crazy? So, and you can lose, like if I'd have done tether, for example, I would have been losing 3.22% on the 5% I had up here. So I'm earning APY in the XVS token and I can sell that token or whatever. 
I would be earning, if I didn't want to earn an XVS, I would still be earning a net 1% a year. And I'm borrowing. That's what's kind of weird about it, right? I'm borrowing. And I'm still actually <laughs> profitable by borrowing money, essentially, or cryptocurrency. And I can go use this anywhere. Now, with that being said, what I don't have access to is this original 740 BNB. I don't have access to that. I can't. I'm borrowing against that. Now, if I want to pay this back over time or say I invested this, let's just say I did get um, the additional BNB tokens. And I could go take those additional BNB tokens and put them somewhere else. I could stake them. I could yield farm with them, whatever. You'd probably want more than this. But the idea is you could do that. But again, you if if my BNB starts losing value, then I'm going to lose. It's going to hurt my original stack. It's very risky to do this. I want you to understand that. Like if I, if I had a thousand dollars worth of BNB up here and I borrowed 500, if it goes up 10%, then I'm going to make 50 bucks on this 500 BNB that is. And I would make a hundred bucks on this because it went up 10%. But think about if it goes down 10%, I'm going to lose 500 bucks here. I'm going to lose 50 bucks. I'm going to lose a hundred. It's a double loss. I got to pay this loan back to get this out. I got to pay all that back. So now I've already borrowed. I'm on the hook for 500, but if I lose 50 because it goes down to 450, I still have to pay that 500 back. So you got to understand that it's going to start see the price pulled back a little bit right there. And if it pulls back too much, then you're going to start, it's going to start hurting. And so that's the problem. You're on the, I mean, crypto is already risky. I don't love the idea of lending on platforms like this. I have done it. Absolutely. I've done it, but it's risky. You just gotta be, you just gotta be careful. Venus is quite conservative compared to some of the ones I have seen, like how they let you, and, and they have these on Tron. They have these on a lot of different platforms, but how they limit you on BNB, they don't, they're kind of strict. If you try to borrow against BNB, I've seen websites where it's like, you can borrow up to 50% of any asset. They clearly understand certain assets are probably going to be a little bit more risky than other assets. So they have some good measures in place. But if you were going to borrow money, it, I mean, you're going to earn APY there. You can take this and put it to work for you if you're bullish on the market, on the, with the crypto space, what's going to happen. You can put that to work for you and you're not going to lose the original BNB. So if you make profits over here and you start paying this back, let's just say yeah, this is a thousand, this is 500. You know, I double this 500. Guess what? I get to pay back 500. I made $500 in profit, plus I still got my original BNB. And if that's went up in value, that's going to be awesome too. That's why people may try to do it. I don't personally think I love this a whole lot, but I got to tell you, you know, from Compound to Aave on Ethereum, now Venus on Binance Smart Chain, I mean, this is probably going to be big. It's not a project that I'm into a whole lot, but it's probably going to be big. So how do we repay this back? Well, I'm not really sure. Let's check it out. We come to borrow. We come here. We click repay, enable, wait for that to go through. While we're waiting on that, I've got to be sure to subscribe to the video. I've, I'm going to be covering a brand new project on the Binance Smart Chain. I mean, I think I've seen one video talking about it, but it is a huge project. It's not showing up yet on DeFi Station. Probably if it repeats what it's already done on Ethereum, it's going to be huge. Um, I'm going to be sharing that in my next video. So be sure to subscribe to the channel, hit that bell notification icon. All right, now we want to repay. There it is, hit max, click repay. Confirm. We're going to see everything basically going in reverse right now. This will finish up in just a minute. And now we can see our APY is back to normal because we're not earning that little bit of bonus. And now we will, this changed. Notice this went from 22% back down to zero. We'll come back to supply. We'll come back over here. Gotcha. So we don't have to do that again. Okay. Then we'll click withdraw. Max. I can't withdraw three. It's unfortunate because it's not there anymore. Confirm. And I've got everything pulled out. I've totally reversed everything. So you just saw me. Let's talk about what we did. We came to the Venus platform. We put our BNB up as collateral. We borrowed against our BNB and we pulled out USDC. And we could have used that USDC anywhere we wanted. And then what did we do? We paid the USDC, USDC loan back. And then we pulled back out our collateral, original collateral. Think about what we just did. 
We literally put something up for collateral and took a loan against it without using a middleman, doing it all totally digital. I didn't have to wait for somebody's approval process. I didn't fill out an application. I didn't have to do KYC, AML. I didn't have to do anything like at a traditional bank. I just did it all within seconds, within moments. I mean, DeFi is extraordinary, ladies and gentlemen. What's possible in this space is truly, truly incredible. Now, there's other applications that where there's a lot of tweaks on this application, but the basics, this is the basics really of DeFi, decentralized finance. Yield farming and all that stuff, don't get me wrong, it's a lot of fun. It's kind of interesting. It's, you know, if you like that sort of thing, if you don't know what yield farming is or if you're trying to figure out how to do that, I'll put a video above on how to get started with yield farming. You can definitely watch that if you don't know what yield farming is. But I'm going to stay tuned. I'm going to show you this has been more conservative-ish, if you can say that. Meaning as long as you, if you just supply BNB here or you just supply USDC here, make 10% APY, USDT make 13% APY, the only risk you would have is the actual smart contract itself. But what if you wanted to earn more than that? Well, in the next video that I do, we're going to show you an extreme of this. We're going to show you how you can make, you know, three, four, five thousand percent APY, or at least that's the goal. Of course, anytime you see that super high APY, you got to know that there's a risk. So if you want to see that video, you want to know what we're talking about, do me a favor, smash that subscribe button. Hopefully I've earned your subscribe. Hit the bell notification icon and click all. This has been Venus Protocol Tutorial. If you have any questions, by all means, please put them down in the comments. If I don't know the answer, I'll try to find the answer for you. Thank you so much for watching. Decentralized cryptocurrency equals freedom. This is Crypto Wealth. I'm out.